Karen Jeff and me in this song. She was a beloved children's entertainer in the 80s, a news anchor in the 90s, and all along a champion for black history and anti-racism work. Noreen Virgin lived a big and memorable life. Everybody loved to be around her because she was just so warm and welcoming. On Monday, Virgin died at the age of 77. A trailblazer in public, it's the private moments her daughter and husband are also remembering. I think people would be surprised to know how funny she was, like super funny. She just wanted to be remembered for just the fact that she was so genuine and different hats. She could do anything she wanted. Then Megan yelled. And she did, reinventing her career and breaking new ground transitioning from teaching to television. Special. It's for As Jody on TV Ontario's Today's Special, she made many lifelong fans. It felt like watching family, says this one. So when I saw this black woman with the dimples, just like my mom working in a department store, I was like immediately hooked to this show because it was like, it was this connection for me. Hello, I'm Noreen Virgin at News. Virgin stayed connected to the audience even after she moved into journalism. But working in the industry in the 90s as a black woman, Virgin spoke of the barriers she and others faced. I was told that don't think just because you have high ratings they will ever accept anybody like you thinking you have power. After her broadcasting career, she became committed to anti-racism work helping with black history education in Ontario schools. She took a run at politics too, and ran a consulting firm with her husband to promote diversity and inclusion in workplaces. She paved the way for hosts, anchors, reporters like myself. CBC Marketplace host Asha Tomlinson met Virgin about 10 years ago, and they remained in touch. I hope people will remember that she's got this personality and that she was a wonderful icon, historian, but also a wonderful human. A celebration of Virgin's life will be held in her hometown of Hamilton later this year. Magda Gebra Celeste, CBC News, Toronto.